In today's very late video, we're going to be taking a look at five new features that I really liked in the 2025.2 update. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Earlier this week, I sat down with the Home Assistant developers to talk about what's coming and what's new with update 2025.3, but haven't yet got 2025.2 out, so let's do that now. Up first then with feature number one, we've got a brand new control panel for Bluetooth. The Bluetooth integration has received a brand new control panel, and you can find this by heading into the integration and clicking configure. The new panel gives a nice visual indicator for the connection slot allocation, and it also has an advertisement monitor that gives you information about detected devices, which includes their raw advertisement data, and even what Bluetooth proxy that they're connected to. This one's definitely a nice feature, especially if you're making use of a lot of Bluetooth proxies, and you want to know what's happening on your Bluetooth network. Carrying on with our next feature, and this one is one of the most requested changes to backups since backups released, and it's optional encryption. When backups first launched, all locations were fully encrypted, without a method for turning this off, and lots of people didn't like this. As of 2025.2, you can now turn on and off encryption for set locations, with the only exception to this being the Home Assistant Cloud. Any backups made to the Home Assistant Cloud will always be fully encrypted. In addition to this nice little change, the schedule for backups is now fully customizable, so you're not stuck to the Home Assistant one and you can set up and manage your own as you see fit. Staying on the topic of backups, we've got feature three, which is quite fitting because it's three new storage locations for backups. Joining the growing roster of locations for backups, we've now got Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Synology DSM. If you make use of any of these services or backup locations, you can just add them and you can now select them as targets for your backup locations. Moving away from backups then, we've got feature four, and this one is shared conversation history. Prior to 2025.2, if you were using Assist and you made use of the fallback option, you'd often have to repeat and reintroduce things that you'd previously said as part of your conversation. This was because the default agent and the LLM agent didn't have any shared memory. Thankfully, this has now all changed, and agents now have a shared command history, meaning that they both know what each other were talking about, giving assist a lot more power and giving you a more streamlined assist experience. On to the fifth and final feature then, and we've got calendars for LLMs. You can now expose your calendar entities to assist, which allows LLMs to retrieve information on today's events or events that are happening through the rest of the week, and you can then use this information in whatever weird and wonderful way that you want. This is a nice feature to see because Assist just keeps on growing and it's just getting more and more features and functionality. And there we go guys, that's been a quick look at five of the new features that I liked in 2025.2. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, then don't forget to drop me a like. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell and you'll be alerted to any future video that I do. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.